Hello there, and welcome to my channel, Novice Modelling in the Midlife Crisis. My name is Andy, and this afternoon I'm going to do you a quick What's in the Box kit review on my Italieri model number 1317 in the 135 scale Zundap KS750 with sidecar, which, as we can see, comes with uh, three figures, one of them being a um, member of the German military police. Um, as we can see on the front of this box here, these guys have got a rather grimy looking face, faces on them. This chap here is having a cigarette and he does maybe appear to have a, a bit of an arm injury going on here as well. The bag comes with quite a bit of um, extra kit, including a MG42 on the front. So let's get in the box and have a quick look. I'm taking all the parts out of the plastic, obviously. And as per my normal style of doing these particular reviews, I'm just going to read out the uh, brief little uh, description of this particular vehicle that Italieri provided us. So the Treaty of Versailles forbade the reconstruction of the German army. Nevertheless, its commanders evaded the obstacle by introducing vehicles of the civil production, which was not subject to any limitations. Thus, they set up entire companies equipped with motorcycles, developing in this way a motorised mentality among the crews. The Zundap was with a production of 18,000 units due to its structure, which guaranteed easy and economical handling, was considered one of the most modern accomplishments of the age in the field of motorcycle construction. Because of its extraordinary qualities, the Zundap could follow and escort the tank units of the Wehrmacht and Waffen SS to all theatres of operations, especially in Russia, since the sidecar was even furnished with heating for hands, feet of the MAB. The Zundaps were distributed to all units of the armed forces. Only after 1943 were they replaced by four wheel vehicles. So I'll have a quick look at the instructions that come with the kit. Uh, it's all pretty easy and simple to follow. We have a sprue diagram here and here of what we're supposed to actually get with the kit. And then basically we follow a simple box by box um, description of how we to fit the parts together. So in the uh, first section, we're going to start putting the rear, rear wheel together and then we're going to mount it to the actual frame. <coughs> we're going to start putting the gas tank, uh, the seat and parts of the engine together. In section three, we're going to put the front wheel, the handlebars and some of the panniers on. In section four, we're going to start on the construction of the sidecar. Section five, we're going to finish it off by adding the wheel, the machine gun and our side panniers. And in section six, we're going to put the two items together. Section seven then concentrates on the three figures that come to us. Two obviously are seating and one of them is a standing figure. And then we end up with something like this. And this gives us some details of where we're supposed to actually apply our decals. So it's all quite nice. It's all pretty simple. Even a novice like myself, I'm sure, could make a half decent effort of making this. So the next thing we'll have a look at is the decal sheet, <clears throat> which as you can see comes with three different variations for our number plate, two of them, one of them being a Luftwaffe and two of them being for Wehrmacht. So obviously if you wanted to, we could have two of these vehicles together. We might have to sort of alternate the uh, figures somewhat. Uh, this comes with some units and other accessory um, logos and also interestingly some uh, Red Cross first aid kit symbols as well which may indicate why this guy's got a sort of possible injury maybe he's been picked up from the front line hard to tell really but well, anyway there's a decal sheet <clears throat> the first sprue the main sprue uh, concentrates on the motorcycle and two of the figures uh, we can see the frame here, which is obviously quite fragile, so you have to be quite careful in removing these things from the sprue. We've got what looks to be the actual parts of the engine of the motorcycle, and we have the front and the rear wheel. Now, the front and the rear wheel seem to be really, really nicely detailed. They've got a decent amount of tread on there, and I think I can actually see some wording on the tyres, though I can't quite make it out. That's my poor eyesight for you. Uh, we've got some other elements of mechanicals to go on the motorbike itself. Here we have the fuel tank, the handlebars, some extra parts of the engine. I think this is probably the exhaust system going on here. We've got two seats, one for the front, and obviously you've got a pinion rider. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have some equipment. We've got two standard 
uh, German armoured infantry rifles, probably Mausers. Then we've got a Schweizer MP5 machine pistol. We've got a few other bits and bobs. We've got some binoculars, we've got some gas masks, we've got some drinks containers. And we have one of the, um, the side panniers here as well. We've got some three helmets and we've got a wrap of probably a tent or some camo or something like that. And then we've got the first of our two figures. We've got one who is the driver of the vehicle, I think. And he's got his foot extended to uh, give himself some rest or balance while he's just uh, parked up for a second. And we have the member of the German military police, who is obviously very busy and intent keeping an eye on proceedings. The second sprue deals mainly with the sidecar. So obviously we've got the sidecar body itself, we've got a couple of panniers, we've got the um, axle from underneath, we've got the seat, we've got two wheels for the pannier pull up there. Yeah, we've got two, two wheels there, one of them's a spare, and then we have an MG42 machine gun, and we have the figure who in the picture is there smoking a cigarette. So that all looks quite nice. Now, I did actually do a review on this one yesterday, the BMW R75 sidecar. And I did actually notice that the, in all, for all intents and purposes, this sprue with the sidecar is actually identical to the BMW R75, almost. The sidecar here is, is basically it's identical. Look, I can't see any actual physical difference between the two, but these two pieces are switched. And also the numbering is different as well, but all the other pieces are placed in exactly the same position. So I found that, that kind of interesting and wondering whether it was uh, there had been a remolding at some point, or maybe one of these two kits was earlier or later than the other. It does transpire that this original uh, molding for this was actually produced by Teleri in 1976, which is comparable with the uh, BMW R75. Um, it's been through a series of reboxings between then and now. The most recent one, which is this particular kit, comes from 2014. I've actually bought this new. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it's probably £12, £13, pounds, something like that. So it was a new kit. It comes straight out of the packaging. And there we have it, basically. So we are actually doing a few small... Tamiya and Italiari kits. I mean, obviously, like I mentioned, the BMW R75. I'm going to go on and do the uh, the Woolies MB Jeep next. We've also done the British Air Service Jeep. Probably going to do this trailer set tomorrow. And we've done the Cuba wagon, so we've got plenty of things for you to go and have a look at if you just found this particular video. I've also got about, about another 30, maybe 40, 135 watts in the box reviews up as well um, i have about another 100 or so to go so it's probably worth your while maybe hitting that subscription box and just keeping tabs on what i'm actually reviewing because you might find something nice that you want to actually add to your kit add to your stash so i'll leave you with that pretty cover of the box i'm going to put this together and get on with the jeep so uh thanks for watching I uh, hope you decide to like and, like and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you with another clip review shortly. Be seeing you.